Hi guys, and in this week of FIFA 13 Ultimate Team of Zack, I will be showing you some loads of trading tips and gameplay. Right, so first, all I've got is that if you can see, I've got 12k. And at the moment, I'm in a bidding war with a few players. I'll stick a bid up there. Okay, mm. and there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got Morales in my trade pile. He's very good. He's got good pace, good dribbling, good passing. Yeah, and he's good overall player. My other player is Vermeer. He's really good, and most people want him from. I've also got Kolarov in my thing, and Beckham. But this guy, don't... Do any trading with him, he's absolutely rubbish. But Bax and I was flicking through silver Brazilian players, and Bax and I, I made a bid on him, and yeah, so that just lost me 4k. And now I can only sell one for like 1k. Okay, and in my trade pile, I have Bruno, which will go for 500, Claude Domeni, which will go for 500, Ronaldo, which will go for 1500, probably. Giddy Edson, which will go 500. Toscano, 1500. Marcus Guy, 500. And Boteng, he might go. Okay. So, which now. He'll be gone. He'll be like sold. He might be sold. Okay. In two minutes and five seconds. Okay. So, okay. While he's doing that, I'm just going to show you a few trading methods. Okay. The first one. Yeah, they're called six, which I call gold 600. You type in level gold. Up there. Um, go to current price and type in maximum. Okay, 600. Okay. And as you can see, Kalu and a few other normal gold just come up there. No point of bidding on them. A few more. Oh, but here you go. Costa. He's 650 coins, but he's worth it. Yeah, okay, so stick a bit on him. Vertonghen, 450. That's a good deal. Yeah, because I can sell him for like 700 coins. Yeah, okay, no one here. Yeah, okay, now Montillo, 650. Make a bit on him. Okay, so now we're just looking for. Oops, sorry about that. Now we're just looking for some rays which go for 600, which are very gold. Yeah, okay. Alright. Now, Tulan guy, 600 con. Okay. Oh, Juan Fran, six hundred coins. But now, as you might be able to see, it, they all have, these players have forty-five minutes, so we'll have to leave them back, and we'll see about them later. Yeah, okay. So now it's a deciding moment. If I have so, oh, they've already gone. The other people. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, so Boateng has not right. sold. So you might be able to see they have all sold, but you might be thinking, where have they all gone? None of them are here because I didn't have enough space and I needed to buy and sell some other players. They all went, ex um, except for the Vermeer. I had to go down from 25k to 14.5 and he sold. Thankfully, so I made a 1.5k easy profit. And Boateng sold for 16.5k in a bottom 17k, so that's 500 coins lost. But, yeah, at the end of the day, life's not always perfect. Okay, so I picked up a Paye Inform for 14k, and I sold him on for 19.5k, which is a very, very, very good profit. 5.5k, very good. Everton guy, who I showed you... Who I showed you earlier, who I bought for 4k by accident, sold for 2.5, 2.4k. I mean, sorry about that. Edge, I bought for 150 coins, sold for 250. And Chris, oops, sorry about that. And Chris Brunt, 
I got for 600 coins, sold for 800. Okay, so as you can see, and the top, I have 54,757 coins. Okay, so that's really, really good. Now I'm just going to see if I can increase that by the end of this episode. Now I'm going to try and have 70,000. Okay, so I'm going to type up maximum... Okay, let's say... 54... Okay, 54k. Okay, minimum... Okay, 5.7. Okay, you can... Doesn't matter. Okay, Lewandowski, no profit. Available there. Pogba, no. Loris, no. No, no, no. Ooh, Kiebling, no. Okay, I was, I'll be willing to pay 15k for him, but 30k is a bit over the top. Okay, 40k for me too, no way. Okay, as you can see, they've they've all got like 7-8 minutes between them. <laughs> okay, so Joe Hart, as you can see here, I'm gonna, he goes around 24k, 25, so I'm going to make a 17k bid, which will get me an easy 7k profit, but he probably won't sell, so I'm not going to just leave it at that. Yeah, Podolski, no profit, available there. Alright, I'm back after just a few days. And I'm going to be showing you my squad. So, to start off, I am going to be showing you my reserves and then my subs right my two reserves are martin kelly who i picked up for a great 850 coins in a 4 3 and he's actually really good. And my my other reserve is William Gallas, who I picked up for, as you can see, in a minute. Four hundred and fifty coins. And but he hasn't played any games for me yet. He was going to. Because I had an injured player, so I decided to sell that injured player. Right, my bench. Well, normally I, ha I would have Denver Bar up front, but instead, so like that, um, I have Sturridge up front to replace him. I have Danny Pacheco, who's actually really good. Julian, Julian Escott, Jermaine Pennant. Oh, sorry about that. Stuart Downing, Ryan, what's his name, Ruiz, and Eunice Cabal. Right, to start off, in goal, I have Joe Hart, who I picked up for 25k. He's very good, actually. Right back, I have Glenn Johnson, centre-back, Chris Smalling, and left-back, Kieran Gibbs. They're actually really good like, defence. They're quite strong, they're, and... The, um, Glenn Johnson and Karen Gibbs are quite far, really fast. 85 and 87 pace. I was going to get a walker, but 
Glenn Johnson was a cheap alternative. And Chris Morning's got okay pace, but he's got like good heading, good defending stats. At right mid, I have got Aaron Lennon over here. Centre mid, I've got um Jack Wilshire and Karen Richardson. Karen Richardson, I actually picked up a four hundred and fifty coins. I could have sold quick sold him for six hundred, but I decided not to because I wanted to keep him because he's got eighty five pace. At left mid, I've got Matt Jarvis. He's also got he's got eighty eight pace and he's amazing. Um, at left wing, I've got Scott Sinclair, who's played amazingly for me. He's played around five games and scored five goals. At strike, um, for my striker, who I normally have demo bar, is Daniel Sturridge. He's actually really good and he's got ninety pace, which is also really good. Right at my right wing, I've got Nathan Dyer, who's got ninety two pace, seventy shooting. 80 jib and 80 dribbling. Those are his best stats. And manager, as you can see, I've got Alan Pardew, who's also amazing. Well, he's not amazing because he can't play. He hasn't played anymore. But he's a good manager. Right, so now I'm going to play some matches and then I'm going to come back to you with some more trading tips and see if I can get any deals. Right, to show you some quick and simple easy goals I'm gonna play a bronze league match and I'll show you the goals in that to start off for scoring um to start off for scoring it was Nathan Dyer My second goal was from Scott Sinclair with a lovely ball, lovely passing, great play. Scoring a second goal is Scott Sinclair. And to finish off the scoring was Jack Wilshire. I can't believe he missed his first shot. But he came back with a great one. I was actually quite impressed here because I had four goals, they had zero. I had 20 total shots, they had one. I had 11 shots on target, they had one. I had, But I had 27 tackles, they had one. Zero fouls, zero broken, zero corners, zero offsides. I had 78 passing rating and 61 possession. So that's actually really good. So now I'm gonna advance. Oh, 515 coins, that's a decent amount for one match. So my second round, I'm not gonna bother that match yet. And if you want to, can you leave um, the comments below which striker you'd like me to sign? Because my strikers are doing okay, but I want to get a new striker. You know, some rated like 85 or something. Doesn't have to be that, but with like okay pace and okay shooting or good shooting or something like that. So now I'm actually going to time up gold, nationality, actually BPL, striker. I don't particularly want to get Torres because he's doesn't have that good stats or oh, 20k there hmm. 